Other than that, got welcome rain across the weekend, uh, but not sufficient to add to the reservoirs. So although the alert has been cancelled and the intertropical convergence zone has drifted away, we basically still need the rainfall as we go through the next uh, few months. And that's because uh, the outlook uh, for June to August is for less rainfall than usual, which basically means there'll be slow relief for those reservoirs. On the second peak of our wet season, uh, from September to November, we'll likely see more rainfall than usual, and this will increase the risk of flooding. So be mindful of that as we go through the next few months. But right now, across Trinidad and Tobago, those rain clouds are clearing. You'll be seeing a lot more hazy sunshine as you go through your morning across Tobago from Castara to Plymouth and from Scarborough down to Buku. Only low chance of a shower throughout the day. For Trinidad, looking for also clearing skies. Only one or two brisk showers likely favoring the hillsides, especially around the northern range. But overall, You'll notice the hazy sunshine and also feeling quite breezy from uh, eastern areas through Toko down to Manzanilla and Maruga with a brisk shower passing through during the day. But overall, hazy sunshine will be the major factor. Now, today's uh, temperatures uh, will basically go up to 32 degrees Celsius at Piaco. We could be seeing a 32 at Piaco again on a Tuesday, maybe 33 around Caribbean points further towards the west. And uh, for Tobago, 31 is expected are looking at lows of 25 degrees Celsius. Now the Saharan dust stays with us on Wednesday. Then on a Thursday, we see yet another tropical wave coming by, set to bring in the ITCZ. So you could be seeing some of the thundery downpours once more, especially for Trinidad through Thursday. And then on Friday, we return to the hazy sunshine. For the most part, only the brief shower expected to end the working week. Offshore, those strong gusts remain, still bringing choppy seas 2.5 meters out in the Atlantic and the Caribbean. Be mindful of that as you head out, especially towards the further east you head into the Atlantic. And you notice the high tide at 3 a.m. and your high tide again at 4.30 p.m. Now, the Saharan dust remains quite dominant across the Caribbean. For eastern areas in particular, quite thick across the Great Rantilles as well. So there's a very little set to change as you go through your Tuesday. If you are traveling and you do happen to have pollen allergies or asthmatic uh, symptoms, then obviously be mindful of that Saharan dust, which can be quite thick as you go through Tuesday across many parts of the Caribbean. But for us, it will remain hazy and breezy with just the brisk shower around. So that's the weather and that's it for me.